HIV student. I have got my offer letter from University of Waikato. Excellent. Well done, Torian. I would like to get some just on accommodation. Will it be cheaper to stay on campus or off campus? Obviously, it will be a little cheaper to stay off campus. On campus has got its advantages. Obviously, it's a very student centric environment. And uh, so everybody is caught in that university uh, 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 kind of mode and things like that. So it's a good idea to stay on campus. And off campus, you know, gives you that flexibility to rent your own place and then maybe get hold of three, four friends and classmates and as it is called shared accommodation uh, or in New Zealand, we call it flatting. Uh, so you could get up to flatting. So both have their advantages and disadvantages. So the on-campus ones, there might be certain restrictions on cooking and a few other things. But off campus, you would be responsible for some other things. If you're cooking the wrong sort of stuff, the rental agency can come and say, man, you're doing, a, you know, you're, you're putting up too much of smells into the curtains of the house and the carpets of the house. So it's got both its pros and cons. My recommendation would be to start with on campus, at least for the first few months. Uh, get yourself into, into a comfortable zone because if you're standing uh, on, if you're staying on campus, uh, then you don't have to travel, for instance, so there is no bus involved. You will not require a car, so you're kind of not spending all that money. You'll be able to walk to call a university and come back. It's a beautiful campus, by the way, University of Waikato. It's got great grounds. I actually go practice cricket in the uh, indoor nets of the University of Waikato. So I'm there very regularly, by the way, and I live about uh, five, ten minutes by car. So. So I would recommend uh, uh, to you that you start off from on campus and you'll also kind of meet a lot of other international students and start creating those bonds. After the first few months, you know, maybe a few of you will become good friends and say, hey, you know what, we all bond together well, why don't we go out and take our own uh, house and share it amongst ourselves. And by the time you're also familiar with New Zealand, so you know where to go buy your stuff, what to do what and things like that.